continuing with this. Hi, pretty birds. Hi, the birds. Totally being set free regarding my mother and father. I didn't realize how much of a grip they had on me, and I'm just like realizing how much I'm, I really truly am set free. It's just a beautiful thing. single mother thing, my dad's credibility is an absolute disaster, okay? And I, 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 I talk about how, like, I only recently realized how severe this issue is with parents in America, especially, you know, how they're just controlling their children. I love it out here at this beach. This is really wavy. By the way, red tide is gone. Well, it could be back real fast, so. But, um. Yeah, I mean, hello. I mean, this guy is relying on pot. I'm thinking he's getting healthy with it. People, you know, you want, you want, like I talked about before, people, you want to see what the, um. Woo! <laughs> He had a car accident in 2010, or maybe no, 2008 or something. Like that. And he's been having these seizures or whatever since then. And while he's doing the marijuana, it helps him. You know, he leaves the same bullshit. He's been smoking that stuff eight times a day for decades. And I guess he gave up the cocaine back in the uh, 80s or something. And then allegedly, he stopped being an alcoholic. I guess. 1989, I want to say. What's up, buddy? Are you trying to eat my cabbage or something? What's up, y'all? No, you can't eat my cabbage. No way you can mess with that. They're tough. Look at them. They're not scared. They're just wandering around. Fun birds, you know. That's a big thing for him and his wife, Sue. Sue's in Braille. She can be a lovely woman, you know? Wife, we're gonna respect our laws. Marijuana, smoking marijuana is illegal in Ohio. Federally, it's, it's a crime. It's endangering children. I know a man that got picked up in North Homestead or North Bridgeville. Peter Nerick, Cleveland, Ohio. And uh, his car, he has a child with him, so he had possession on him. He got charged with endangering a child. I think he ended up going to uh, Lorraine, uh, was it a, uh, Grafton, or Grafton, yeah, Grafton, Lorraine County, but it was like, um, that was the first thing he ended up going. This is serious stuff. Wow, he's really good. Look at this. These are tough birds, you know? I mean, this, look at that, I mean, that, the, the, the power of this water, these waves, is like, hello? So anyway, this is the demand of my father. You're gonna see some miracles here. Hey. The demand of my father and my wife. I made the demand of my mom that, you know, this is what's happening. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of peace, in the name of love, in the name of goodness and health and prosperity. Yeah. Uh, denouncing all narcotics, street drugs, marijuana, obviously dying with cocaine that's strong. Continue to do that as well as heroin. All prescription drugs denounced. Um, codeine, oxycotton. This is coming from Jason, okay? The man who, you know, <laughs> he's healthy all the time. I'm, I'm the carrier, so I don't, I don't, I don't get any, uh, wow, it's really windy. I'm the carrier, so I don't get any kind of viruses or infections. My dad calls me the carrier. My dad is absolutely awesome. He is so cool. You don't need drugs to, you know, not just drugs, but just a whole overall attitude. And as it relates to 
University hospitals. University hospitals. Fuck you. I mean, you got you got an employee that brags about you know customers and all that stuff. There's this HIPAA law. It's like uh, health insurance and protection. You know, and you gotta be quiet. Privacy. I work in the financial services industry. And, you know, there's certain things you can talk about in regard to public records. To health, you know, I, I hear about you know, you can't even talk about who the person is coming in to have blood drawn. Susan Rose from the witch. I talk about how people who are phlebotomists are automatically witches, and yeah, there's nothing good. Oh wow, look how wavy it is. This is the Gulf of Mexico, y'all. It's never like this. It was really harsh on uh, Saturday as well. This is why the red tide is pretty much. No trace in my professional opinion. <laughs> so, yeah, we're denouncing all drugs and any kind of alcohol. Sue's been big on alcohol. I have no problem with it. Let it go, y'all. Just look at my dad. Over two, he was over 250 pounds. Um, the brain damage, you know. It's illegal to do drugs, y'all. Not just that. Just, just look at just look at the lifestyle. Both my mother and father. My dad's awesome. We're fun. We, you know, we're into sports together. And I met him when I was 17. Yeah. Look at this. This is awesome. So all, all you children out there who are, you know, have mother and father. I don't care how old you are. 60 years old. You mean you got parents. You know, in their 80s or you know, late 70s, whatever, your, your 50s, 40s, 30s, however old you are, boy. So, know that just because your father or mother say something and, and, and act like they're, you know, smart about their use of whatever it is, look at their life. If my dad was healthy, we might have a little bit of a... Oh, but we have the, the disability in 2000. Hello. Uh, you know, uh, if they were wealthy, it'd be a big difference, okay? W's, baby. It's all about the W's, okay? <laughs> we got to see success. We got to see... reach 80 today, I don't know. Extremely wavy too. So these are the demands and we're gonna be thankful for government and respect our laws. Look you know how easy it is to keep the law. And oh my god of mercy. So Giselle. I think it's Giselle Bunja, right? So yeah. Women and men to be gentle with other people. I'm going to talk about that as well. Folks, talk about how you want to punch your little daughter in the face. I've never in my life, I don't know if I've ever heard of something like that before. Of course, you couldn't say that about your, your son or me. Because you got to push around people who are smaller or weaker than you. How you're gonna discipline somebody, make the threats. I, mean, I, I love the fact that they didn't ever do this whole issue of, of physical discipline. But yeah, I think about Sue's mother. The assaults on her. This is serious. I can't be quiet anymore. This is outrageous. Of course, the whole abortion thing. You're allowed to do that in America. I, I respect it. It's a beautiful law. It allows people to have surgery, take pills. Another thing, too, you should be denouncing vaccination. Our own government, who's been allowing vaccinations, is coming out now and saying, we know what's causing these measles outbreaks. People who are vaccinated. 